Thank you, teachers. Tonight we have speakers from each of the other classes. Our first speaker is Evie Vargas from Miss Drake's class. Evie will be attending Santa Valley College while she will where she will study human substance abuse counseling. Please welcome Amy. Well, here we are, less than a month away from graduating and starting the rest of our lives. I know that sounds cheesy because for most of us, the rest of our lives are going to continue here in this gadget, some in Washington hours away, and they're going many seats away. <laughs> Without Avid class of 2018, we're done. For some of us, without Avid, we might not be here today, able to say that we accomplished things like taking honors or AP classes. Those classes may not have been the easiest, but they pushed us to do what we need to make our transcript look the very best. Avid used to be driving TRS and marker checks, and now it's about some Avid. <laughs> not just Avid, but my whole Avid class and how they made me feel the past four years. Being accepted to Abbott as a sixth grader going into middle school was a big accomplishment for me because it was the first step I took in preparing myself for these big moments. Abbott really is a family and is the mom. My straight has been the first and tell everything to. Oh. <laughs> this year and for letting me bother you about having breakfast so that Jalen didn't have to organize it. <laughs> and hoping you like her smaller chest. Kelsey, I'm crying in your arms and you didn't make me feel weak for showing you my emotions, even though sometimes you cry before I do. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me that I'm not alone. I can truly depend on you. Our avid staff is what makes nights like tonight possible. Mr. Shepard, you're amazing. Miss McCall. Thank you for writing my scholar. Thank you for writing another recommendation for you to my high turn in the scholarship. Last but not least, I want to thank each and every one of you in this room for all the love and support you show our AVID program. It didn't just make me a better student, but a better, but a better person and more prepared for what my future holds. Right, I'm here with Yaelin. <laughs> uh, what's the most you're gonna miss from Avid? Okay, so the m thing I'm gonna miss the most in Avid is probably uh, Mr. Shepard babysitting all of us and always checking up on us, and just us as an Avid class being really close together for all the four years. <laughs> all right, I'm here with Mr. Shepard. What's the most you're gonna miss from your Avid class? Um, the the thing I'm gonna miss the most about the Avid class is just the individual relationships I have with the kids. Uh, like I've known a lot of them for four years now. Uh, outside of my family, I don't really know people for that long. So I'm gonna miss them, their personalities, uh, and having, having that connection to the kids when I come every other day and last two years, pretty much every day, seeing them and doing stuff like that. That's, what, that's the thing I'm gonna miss the most. Okay, okay, all right. All right, I'm here with the Beast, Dakota. How are you feeling after Avid Senior Night? Feels good, feels good. 
Was it a little sad? Did you cry? I didn't cry, but it was sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michelle, man. I'm here with Daisy. What college are you going to? Western Washington University. How do you feel after uh, Avid Senior Night? Awesome. Super nervous at first, but it's it was great. What was the saddest part about Avid Senior Night? Hearing Miss Hag talk about all of us, I just, it made me cry. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.